Hey guys, real quick before we get into the main O'Ship show, I wanted to say a huge shout out and huge thank you to Dimensional Hair. They do great work and they just did my hair yesterday and look how beautiful that is. Ugh, I love it. I'll see if I can post a before and after shot of it because guys, my hair was looking a little rough. It, I love it. Guys, this is also not sponsored. I just really love what they do and I really appreciate how they were able to help me out. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me. And now as Elsie Rosie, I will continue back to the O-Ship Show. Hey everybody, Elsie Rosie here and welcome back to the O-Ship Show. On today's episode, we are going back to February 21st, 2015. Whoa, on that episode, on that day I should say actually, was the day I posted one comic all in one day. I posted the entire thing and it is a Golden Friday comic. So guys, please join me today as we go through and check out this adorableness of this comic. I love this comic. It was so cute, so wholesome. And I still have the original sketch for this one, which I found a couple of days ago. I did it all in one page. Don't know how I did that. I genuinely don't know how I did that. My, I can just tell how much my drawing style has evolved and oh look at me I'm getting on a tangent but guys don't worry I hope you all enjoy the comic I will be back at the end of the video for some more fun commentary hello and welcome back to the story on today's story we will be working with the original animatronics from the diner from long ago spring bonnie let's start with him or spring trap as he preferred to be called was leaning back against the wall. He was humming an old song to himself. It was a slow day, so he was able to hide in the back in a nice little storage closet and just relax. Ever since he and Golden had been reunited, things had gotten a lot better for the two of them. He had been able to hang out with his friend and meet many of the new animatronics that had taken over his diner, now called a pizzeria. Calling it another name didn't take away from the songs that Spring and Golden used to sing. Da, 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 da. Spring found himself singing to one of the old songs. If he closed his eyes, he could see the children from long ago dancing in front of the stage, singing along to their theme song. In the room where he had decided to relax, he heard the door creak open. Huh? Spring opened his eyes and turned his head to see who decided to join him. There stood Golden, or as he preferred to be called, Goldie. He didn't have his hat on, which was out of place for Goldie. Goldie had his head down, his blonde bangs covering his eyes. He kept walking until he reached Spring, and then lunged forward and buried his head in Spring's chest. Goldie wrapped his arms around Spring's waist and held him close. He had tears in his eyes and was shaking quite a bit. Spring's eyes widened, but he knew just what to do. He wrapped his arms around Goldie's waist and nuzzled his nose into Goldie's hair. Once he felt Goldie's heartbeat become a bit more regular, he brushed his thumb against Goldie's cheek. Goldie's eyes slowly rose up to meet Spring's. Spring smiled down at him. Goldie, what's wrong? he asked. Goldie, who thankfully had stopped shaking, responded with, S Someone took my hat again. Spring's eyes widened. This was the third time this week! The first time this happened, Goldie had run up to Spring with tears in his eyes. GB, they stole my hat, and now I can't find it, he cried out. His mind was racing. Where where was it? He, he, he can't perform without it. What will the children think of him? Spring simply smiled. He was brought back to the days when Golden and his twin brother, Fred Bear, used to sing with Spring on stage for all the children. Golden had always liked to look his best for their little guests. Golden is just so cute. Spring placed his hands behind his back. It's okay, bae. We'll find it. Don't you worry, he promised. The two had spent the rest of the day searching the halls of the pizzeria for Golden's hat. They had found it, but 
it was in the vents, even though Golden was terrified of cramped spaces. Confirming Golden's suspicions, and now Spring's suspicions, that someone had taken it. At the time, Spring thought, and hoped, that this wouldn't happen again. That was far from the truth. Since then, this happened again and again. Golden would take a nap, and then he'd wake up, and his hat would be gone. This had to stop happening. Spring tilted his head back and let out a screech that echoed through the entire pizzeria. Who keeps stealing Goldie's hat? Not too far away, in a storage closet, was Goldie's stolen hat in the clutches of the little balloon children. Balloon Boy glanced over to where Spring's screech had came from, echoing from the vents. Not us, he said with a grin. Nope, definitely not us, Balloon Girl confirmed, acting as innocent as she could be. Hello, everybody. Welcome back, and I hope you all enjoyed that comic. It was so much fun to go back through and enjoy it, because, guys, oh my gosh, I love Goldie. He is so sweet. He just needs... Someone needs to protect him from the balloon children because I forgot how evil I made them. They're terrorizing my boy. Ah! <laughs> and I had, oh my gosh, I just, oh, I love Goldie. He's so cute and he just needs to be protected. He's a precious baby boy. Oh, I love him so much. Well, hey, I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I will see you all next time on The O Ship Show. Bye.